Hi guys, I'm Joanna and this is Next, a weekly vlog where I talk about singing and what's coming up next. You can follow me right here on YouTube by clicking subscribe down below or you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Joanna Moffitt Soprano, J-O-H-A-N-N-A-M-O-F-F-I-T-T or you can follow me on Twitter at at Joanna Moffitt same spelling. You may remember from last time that I was talking about doing some coaching for Les Mis at the Lycée Francaise. I started those coachings and it's been going really well. Uh, the students are super talented and it's been really fun to show them some basic musicianship plus you know just help them develop their sound and work on breathing techniques and stuff and it's just really fun for me because I get to share that part of myself that it's just fun you know <laughs> I love teaching and I love uh, the importance importance of it. I think that it's really important to foster these basic musicianship skills and love of singing in young people so, you know, <laughs> so that there are more of us as the years go on. Plus, lame is, it's fun. <laughs> on April 9th, I sang at uh, Emmanuel United Church of Christ. My friend Sarah Jenks is the music director there and we did the Chardash and we did Marietta's lead from Die Todesstadt and we did uh, a Wolf song as well as the uh, Pamina and Papageno's duet from Die Zauberflöte. It was really fun. It was a fun concert. I was exhausted from working all weekend but I was so joyful to be able to share those songs and arias with that group of people. And it was so fun to have a time of companionship with all of them afterwards. We got to talk about singing and what Chicago's like, and it was just really a great time. And, uh, and I look forward to singing for them again in the future. As you all know, Easter has just passed. Um, on Good Friday, I sang Were You There for the Good Friday service. It was really cool and super creepy. After the big crash and the lights go out at the end of the service, uh, the pastor had asked that I sing Were You There from the choir loft at the front of the church and walk through the church all the way to the back, all the way down the stairs. It's very theatrical. like so that my voice would fade away and everyone just was, whew, it was, I mean, I had chills and I was shaking afterwards. So, you know, I, I felt like probably everybody else felt something like that too. And it, it was so much fun to do something so simple that had such a big impact. Just really liked the way that they had sort of constructed the service to help you feel all of those uh, contemplative feelings. It was it was really powerful and I definitely cried a bunch during that service so <laughs> it was great and of course Easter morning uh April 16th we had the big bombast you know we did big pieces with brass we had a quartet with us and it was so much fun two services that day um and then I went to my regular job afterwards and I just <sighs> when that weekend was over I was like okay <laughs> it's time to rest <laughs> Coming up next, rehearsal start for Candide. Uh, we are going to be rehearsing for the next month and shows are in June. Uh, they are June 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 7th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. So you should plan accordingly. You can check out their website, musictheaterworks.com. It used to be Light Opera Works, so either search will work in Google or uh, you can just type in Music Theater Works and it'll pop up as a as the domain name. I'm really excited about this show. Uh, I done it, done it or scenes from it pretty much throughout my adult musical career or uh, opera career, I should say. Uh, the first was scenes in undergrad in my first sort of opera performance ever. Uh, that wasn't just a concert or something. Um, and I played Kunagunda and grad school we did Candide and I sang in the chorus for that and then and then they did it at IU but I wasn't involved in that production but a really good friend of mine played Pangloss which is the main character it's like Pangloss Voltaire sort of and um, so I watched that and it was really cool so now I get to do it again and I'm understudying Paquette who is the servant kind of slash lover slash they just all kind of go through different things throughout the show they die and come back to life and you know end up somewhere random it's it's a really fun and crazy show 
Um, but I'm really looking forward to this because I love this music. It's so wild. So uh, if you have time, please come see it in June. Uh, a friend of mine in my church choir is also in it, so it should be really good. I've been asked to sing at the Mother's Day brunch May 14th at the Mid-America Club, which is where I've been working uh, recently. I'm very excited. It's a huge opportunity to sing for our many members. We usually have over 200 people throughout the course of the day. There's a full buffet included and it's on the 80th floor of the Aeon Center. So you get to see the entire city. Uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really excited about this. It's an Italian theme. So I'm picking out all these uh, famous Italian arias, maybe some other famous arias too. Uh, but it's going to be really fun because I get to do a collaboration with my favorite pianist. Well, one of my favorite pianists. And uh, it should be really, really fun. So check that out. It's on May 14th uh, from 10 to 1. You can call them to book a spot at... Uh, 312-861-1100 and tell them that I sent you uh, so that they know you're friends of mine. So something I've been thinking about lately is dating and dating opera singers specifically. So for my opera singer friends out there, I have a few questions for you about dating and I'd love to start a discussion about it. So I want to hear from you. You send in your answers or your own questions about dating opera singers and let's start a discussion. I want to do this over the entire course of the month of May. So I really need your input and your help to make this happen. Okay. My opera singer friends. Are you in serious relationships or, or are you dating or just casual? Tell me about that. How long has this been going on for? Uh, what do your partners or your dates do for a living? What's their occupation? What are they passionate about? Um, in what ways do they support you in your career? And what compromises do you feel like you have to make for your career in order to make the relationships work? Then, for the people who are dating opera singers or musicians, Similar questions, but a little bit different. Uh, are they serious relationships? Are you casual or just dating? Uh, how long has this been going on for? What do your partners or your dates do? Are they a musician? Are they playing an instrument? Do they sing? What do they do? Um, in what ways do they support you and your career? And in what ways do you feel like you have to make compromises in order to support their career? Now, you have to, have to respond to this, okay? Send me a message in the comments below. Either uh, you can direct message me on Twitter at Joanna Moffitt, J-O-H-A-N-N-A-M-O-F-F-I-T-T, or you can send me a message on Facebook at my Facebook page, which is Joanna Moffitt Soprano. That's all I have for this week. See you on Monday next.